ChatGPT's code interpreter is really a big innovation in the way I read and I process PDF documents. In my professional life, I'm bombarded with that kind of documents, that it is articles, meeting minutes, reports, scientific articles. I'm going now to show you how I can quickly understand the content of a PDF, make a synthesis, prepare a presentation with graphics, even with some mind maps, all this with that innovative tool that goes with ChatGPT, the code interpreter. To illustrate this, I'm going to take nothing less than this year's report from the JIEC about the climate change. It's a document of about 40 pages as a PDF. And I'm going to show you how you can also create a synthesis, prepare a presentation, and then create a summary and a small PDF in which you give an overview of that complex report. It's Christian from Vision 6D. And for me, it is always a pleasure to share a part of my knowledges, to level up your skills, and I train and consult for companies. This is really, but really interesting. I can now upload files into Code Interpreter. The first one that I'm going to upload is the IPCC report in PDF form. I will also upload a second file, which was suggested by ChatGPT, and this second file is a table in CSV format that I found on an institute site at NASA. It will be useful to me to show the variation of temperatures, and in there we have data about this subject since 1880. Although the tool is called Code Interpreter, we are not going to write a single line of code. The first thing that I ask is that it summarizes the document. For this, Code Interpreter is extracting the text part from the PDF file. The important points are summarized as global surface temperature, elevation, greenhouse gas contribution, human influence, sea level rise, and extreme climate events. To illustrate how you can extract information and learn from the PDF document, as well as ChatGPT's knowledge, I ask him what are greenhouse gases. Then he lists the main gases and their origin. For example, CO2 is mainly produced by consumption of coal, oil and natural gas. Then I ask why these gases are called greenhouse gases. And the answer is that they trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. In the next step, I used what I called guided analysis. This allows me to orientate ChatGPT's research on the topics that interest me. It will analyze the document focusing on those points. We can see now how it works. How do you think that this kind of research and analysis could help you? Code Interpreter has a fantastic capacity to generate different kinds of graphics. Based on the results of our guided analysis, I'm going to ask it to generate a mind map. <laughs> colleagues
colleagues and friends is using mind mapping. Once the graphic is generated, we can download it and open it. Hmm, maybe that for you, as it is for me, it's interesting to have the mind map being generated in a format that your favorite mind mapping tool can use. In my case, I asked the code interpreter to generate the mind map in the OPML format that I'm using with Xmart. <laughs> presentation I need a graphical representation of the different gases contribution to the relative warm. Here is the prompt to get that information. As you know or might not know, in prompt engineering the science behind how we generate questions and response, you have to be iterative with chat GPT. That's why I have a second question or a second prompt that requests the creation of the graphic. If you want to learn more about prompt engineering, you can go and watch my video on prompt engineering. Based on the information we have prepared, I asked him to prepare five slides about the key indicators. The first one is a general overview of the subject and then for each next slide I ask to define the key indicator, some explanations, consequences, possible action and to suggest me an illustration. To have more ideas about illustrations I've asked it to generate me some illustration ideas for each slide. When I ask it whether it's possible to generate me the rise of temperature graph, ChatGPT suggests me to go to the Institute, Goddard Institute for Space Studies of NASA to get the data, which I did of course. After downloading the data, I ask the code interpreter to generate me the graph. It did it after processing the data for a while and now I have an excellent graph that I can add to my presentation. And for this I downloaded the graph myself. If you managed to watch the video till this point, well done! And now, as a bonus, I want to show something that I think is also interesting. We have now all the elements to have the presentation. And what we are able to do, it's from our presentation elements, we are able to generate a PDF file. I'm going to take a shorter form than what I had prepared, just to make it shorter in the video. So with those different elements I'm asking ChatGPT to generate a PDF file with the structure, the texts and the different images. So as you see he did it after processing my request and now there is a PDF file that I can download. The use of code interpreter with PDF files is something I hope that for you, you found interesting. For me, it is the case. I've shown you some of the basics of what you can do. This will evolve in the future. So keep me informed in the comments about your discoveries, 
maybe you have prompts that are really way better than mine and then I'm eager to learn from you. For me, it's always a pleasure to share some of my knowledge with you and I hope to see you soon for our common next adventure. Bye-bye.